Hey everyone, welcome back. I get uh, a little frustrated sometimes. This is uh, it's one of those times. Maybe you guys can help me out. Coming up next, right here, Better Biomed. Hey guys, welcome back. This is not a medical related video, but nonetheless, this is troubleshooting. And I do this kind of stuff all the time here in my shop. And this unit, this one's got me thrown for a loop. It's got a dead short, which is popping fuses in the car. And here, while it's on my workbench, I thought I found the faulty component, which is this little Zener diode right here. Now, Zeners are normally used for voltage regulation and to my knowledge they should never be a dead short um, they should only in the reverse bias um, once it gets past the breakdown voltage but here I am using continuity mode on a multimeter and it's only shooting maybe what one and a half volts something like that um, between the probes and I am hitting a dead short let's try it again See, and when I reverse the probes, dead short, 0.1 ohm. So I do believe that this is my faulty component, but there's a chance that it may be messed up something else on the board because that's what electrical shorts do. But there's what I need some help with, guys. So around the periphery of the board, you see that there's these through holes, and these ones here are technically on the ground plane and I can check from corner to corner and I have continuity. Yep. Let's go from here to here. So from these two corners, I've got 0, 0.0 ohms, which is what you would expect if they're both on the same plane. That's no problem. But with that knowledge, let's say I place one probe up in this corner and now I test against the Zener mounting platform I got 0.0, .0 and I've got nothing. That is a normal result. That's what I would expect. Let's go down here to this bottom corner. I got 0, 0.0, and I got 0, 0.0. How is that? You would think, referencing off this ground plane mounting hole, I would have the same exact result as off this hole down here in the corner. I don't get it. Maybe you guys know what's going on. But anyway, this is just another perfect example of how I'm going to solve this problem. See, I could buy this component and the chance that it fragged something else on the board is pretty good. So I would be sitting here taking more of my time goofing around with this stupid radio um, when all I gotta do is look up the model number here on eBay and these radios are plentiful I can buy them all day long for between a hundred and two hundred dollars is that what I'm gonna do you betcha <laughs> I don't like wasting time any more than any of you guys do but this is just one of those times and this is extremely frustrating. I'm going to tear stuff like this apart all the time. Remember, guys, it's part of my rules that it was already broke. So if it's already broke, tear it apart. Let's check it out. And I'm, I'm very confident that this component right here is the problem child. See, whenever you have power coming into a device, the short is almost always going to be some of the closest components to where the power comes in. And this is immediately next to the positive and negative legs of the multi-connector. So I would naturally assume that this is the component that's got the problem, but when measuring off of this corner with continuity versus this corner, I'm getting different results. So this is an end to this radio's life. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was a pretty little stereo and everything, but uh, I don't think I'm going to waste my time on it, guys. 
it was an interesting look. Little tiny Zener diode, probably a two or three dollar part, is going to cost me hundreds of dollars. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. I learned something today, and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching.